Now we are discussing the stop and wait ARQ. ARQ is the automatic repeat request. Automatic repeat request is going to find out the errors and regenerate the packets in the compensation and which is the part of error control. So stop and wait ARQ is the part of error control where the errors are find out and if the packet is lost or corrupted then the retransmission happen. So this is the part of the data link control or the second layer of OSI model is having the functionality just like error control, flow control. So these are the part of data link control. So now we are discussing the stop and wait ARQ. It is basically the form of stop and wait flow control protocol which is extended to include the retransmission of data in case of lost or the damaged packets. We know that in the flow control mechanism, flow control where we has to see the flow means how much flow we has to send of data. Now there we are having a mechanism stop and wait. Stop and wait basically is a mechanism where sender send the data and wait for the acknowledgement and after that it send the next data. So that stop and wait mechanism of flow control protocol is extended and added with the ARQ. ARQ is giving us the power for retransmitting the packets. So here stop and wait ARQ protocol is now powerful that whenever a packet is lost or damaged, it can send the retransmission. Now there are four features are added for the retransmission in stop and wait ARQ. So there are four features of retransmission if we talk about the first feature then sender keep a copy of last frame transmitted until it receives acknowledgement for that frame. The meaning is that sender is going to keep a copy of the last transmitted frame. I Means sender is sending a packet. Now afterward, it is going to have the copy of it until it gets the acknowledgement. Means if the acknowledgement is not found, then sender has to retransmit it that frame. That's why the copy is taken. Now talking about the second point, so the second point we, we are having is both data and acknowledgement frame are alternately numbered with 0 and 1 and it is taken for the identification of duplicate transmission. So if we talk about the second feature here, the data and acknowledgement frames, their number is different. That means they are consecutively 0, 1, 0, 1. So that whenever a duplicate is going, then that should be easily cached because if we are sending one for the data and again if we are transmitting the one again so that we can catch that this is the previous frame which we have added it is not the new frame both data and acknowledgement frames are alternately numbered as zero and one so meaning is that first of all we are observing this diagram here we are having a sender and the receiver and sender is sending the data to the receiver first of all the sender is set to zero and here the receiver is set to zero now you see if we are just excluding the sender and receiver we can see the zero and one into the frame and acknowledgement here the sender is sending the frame means a data frame numbered as zero then receiver is sending back the acknowledgement with the acknowledgement one Again, the sender is sending the frame 1, then it is sending the acknowledgement 0. So this way 0, 1, 0, 1 is going to happen. Now you see and observe this thing. Earlier we have sent the data which was 0 and now we are sending the data which is 1. So first time if I am the sender, I am sending the data as 0. Next time 1, again 0, then 1, then 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, this format is going on. Now, what is the meaning of that? Meaning of that is that I suppose that this is my first data packet. Then next one will be the second data packet. Then again zero will be the third data packet. But assume that in between this one means this particular packet two is lost, which means this is frame one. Then I'm going to send this packet again. So there I will number frame one. And now at the receiver side, we will get the 2, 1. So we will get that it is a duplicate packet. So this is the 0 and 1 number are given to understand if two ones are coming together, that means this is the duplicate packet. Or otherwise we are getting a 0. This means we are getting a new packet. So 0, 1, 0, 1 sequence means we are getting a new packet. If we are having a repeat of the thing, let us suppose that we are having two zeros together. 
that means 20 means this one is one is the duplicate packet so that is why this is numbered as 0 and 1 so here the acknowledgement is reverse in the same manner you can see that first of all acknowledgement is 1 then it is becoming 0 then again 1 0 1 0 so they are alternatively numbered for the identification of duplicate packets so that's why you can see that when the sender is 0 it is sending the frame 0 at that time then sender is 1 it is sending the frame 1 again sender is 0 it will send the zero packet so 0 1 0 1 here at the receiver side also when the receiver is zero that means it has already taken the zeroth frame now sending the acknowledgement of one now here you can see that it is the one so this way they are alternatively numbered for the identification of duplicate packets so this is the second feature of the stop and wait arq now talking about the third feature if error discovered in data frame then it is considered as corrupted frame and nak is returned means when the sender is sending the data to the receiver then there if the receiver side that encounter error now in that case the receiver considered that it is a corrupted frame and receiver send a nak nak means negative acknowledgement that this packet is not meaningful to me now this nak packet is not numbered just like data and acknowledgement packet nak frame is not numbered and it tell the sender to retransmit the frame so there the nak frame is not having any number just like the data and the acknowledgement frame and then afterward once the nak frame is received by the sender now sender retransmit that particular frame to the receiver now we are talking about the fourth feature which is added in the stop and wait arq so now if we talk about the fourth feature then the fourth feature says that the sender is equipped with a timer if the acknowledgement is not received in time then sender assume that the last data frame was lost in transit and sender resends that particular frame so if the counter at the sender side expire then sender assume that that packet is not received by the receiver now sender regenerate that packet so these are the four main features of the stop and wait arq so we can say that the stop and wait arq is the extension of stop and wait protocol which is the flow control arq is the automatic repeat request now here the four features are added if we talk about the first feature which is added then sender is having the copy of the last frame means sender is sending a packet then the last frame copy is taken by the sender now until the acknowledgement is received that sender is going to have the copy now talking about the second feature which is added to the stop and wait arq now data and acknowledgement both framed are numbered with 0 and 1 alternatively so that the duplicate packet can be taken care very easily that can be identified easily now talking about the third feature now the third feature is that if any error is found during the transmission then that is considered as the corrupted frame and for that nak nak means negative acknowledgement is returned from the receiver to sender now this nak packet is not having any number and once the sender is getting that nak from the receiver sender again retransmit that packet to the receiver now there is a fourth thing which is added fourth feature we can say the sender is having a timer timer means watch whenever sender is sending a packet afterward a clock started if the acknowledgement from the receiver side is not returned back to the sender in that specific time so sender assumes that that packet is lost in between and sender resends that packet so these are the four features which are added to the stop and wait arq now we are going to discuss the process that how the stop and wait arq will work when we will lost a data frame now we are discussing that how stop and wait arq will work when a data frame is lost or we can say that in terms of lost data frame so there is a diagram here we will understand how it is working we are having a sender and the receiver so there are two people or the two computers we can say 
now first of all from the sender side we are having zero zero means we are transmitting a zero frame so there are zero data frame is sent frame zero we know that in the stop and wait arq the data frame and acknowledgement are alternatively numbered now afterward at the receiver side this zero is received now the receiver is saying send me the next frame which is one so there we are having the acknowledgement here now sender is now alternatively sending one we know that zero and one first we send the zero now we are sending the one so here sender send the frame one now we know that whenever we start with the frame any of the frame we are sending sender start the timer so here there is a timer this one is a timer which is started this is a timer which is mentioned so that is started now afterward this timer start from here it is it is working like this now this frame was going from sender to receiver side but in between because of some network congestion because of some network problem or maybe breakage of network something any of the problem the packet got lost this packet is not received at the sender side it is not received here so here what is going to happen receiver not received any packet from the sender side but sender already transmitted now timer is going on sender is waiting for the acknowledgement till here this is the time out time out means there is a some specific time limit set let us suppose that we assume that 2 seconds of the waiting time or maybe 1 millisecond of the waiting time so that limit exceeded time out once the time out happen now sender assume that there is no acknowledgement from the receiver side that means that packet is lost so that is the assumption from the sender side now sender is still one you can see that earlier sender was one still it is one that means it is sending the same frame frame one so frame one which was sent earlier now that one is again sent now this one received at the receiver side so here that particular one is received now receiver is sending the acknowledgement that yes send me the zeroth packet now so there again sender will be zero and will send the packet to the receiver zero so this was the timeline where we was working so these two are the timelines so the important part is that whenever any packet lost in between the communication so here like this now that frame one will be returned again if the timer expired so whenever our data frame is lost then sender wait for a specific time if that time expire sender retransmit that packet that's why this 0 and 1 is taken because both one are going here that means the same packet is transferring so this is how the lost data frame is taken care by the stop and wait arq now we are going to discuss that how the stop and wait arq will work for the lost acknowledgement frame now we are discussing that if acknowledgement is lost acknowledgement meaning whenever the sender is sending the data to the receiver receiver send the acknowledgement back to the sender that i received the data now that acknowledgement if that lost then how it will be taken care by stop and wait arq now here we are having the sender and receiver two systems are there we know that in the normal transmission if the sender is set to zero it is sending the zero data frame now from sender to receiver this zero data frame is going and receiver get this zero data frame now receiver is asking to the sender that yes i received the zero frame now send me the next one frame so sender side sender is now one alternate first it sent the zero now it is sending the one because they are alternatively numbered now frame 1 is sent by sender to the receiver side here the receiver is going to have the one now receiver is sending back the acknowledgement that i got the frame 1 now send me the zero so this is the acknowledgement sent by the receiver to the sender but that acknowledgement lost in between because of the congestion or some network problem any of the problem that is lost means at the sender side 
the acknowledgement is not received we know that sender is having the timer so this one is the timer which is at the sender side now this timer always start whenever the sender send any of the packet now this timer is working now this timer is reached to the maximum limit here time out till the time out sender not received any acknowledgement because the acknowledgement was lost in between so here sender is again set to 1 already so sender will remain at 1 it will send that frame again we can see that earlier sender sent the frame 1 now again it is sending the frame 1 means duplicate packet that is sent by the sender now here receiver was expecting for the zeroth packet that is important because receiver assumes that i send the acknowledgement my part is over but receiver is not aware that my acknowledgement is lost in between so there was a acknowledgement lost now receiver was waiting for the zeroth packet but sender sent the data packet 1 so here receiver was expecting the frame 0 and frame 1 is discarded now that means here at the receiver side because already frame 1 is stored into the memory now here receiver will assume that okay my acknowledgement is lost in between so receiver is going to discard this one packet again because already receiver stored packet number 1 so it will not take it again receiver send back the acknowledgement again please send me the zero packet i don't require the one packet so here receiver was expecting for the zeroth packet but it got the packet number 1 so it is discarded because here the receiver is set to zero means i will take the zero packet now so this is how now the sender will set and see okay i should send the zero packet so sender will now send the zero packet so this is how this is taken care with the help of the lost acknowledgement frame using stop and wait arq the meaning is that whenever sending is sending the packet to the receiver the receiver used to send the acknowledgement back to the sender if the acknowledgement lost in between then sender retransmit that packet but at the receiver side if receiver receive a duplicate packet then duplicate packet is discarded because receiver already have the same copy of packet and receiver ask again for the same packet so this is all about the stop and wait arq where we have discussed the if the data frame is lost and if the acknowledgement is lost